Hey, Sheriff. It's real nice you'd offer to take her to Folsom like this. All right, you shut your mouth. Spanking small talk's on, dude. You listen to me, Tate. We got almost two days' ride till we get to Folsom. Nobody's gonna care. You get bruised up some. That horse ain't gonna feed itself. You slow down with that pitchfork, young man. Sometimes when you try to go faster, you only end up going slower. Supper's about ready, Matt. All right, we'll finish up here. Don't forget to wash up. table for me. What is it? Them Dell boys shooting up the saloon again? No. Eli Tate and Johnny Hogan. They're back. Go on in, Gail. Eli Tate's supposed to be serving life in Folsom. Hogan shot up the prison return. I just found out about it myself when Ben Perkins came running into the sheriff's office saying that he saw Eli stealing a chicken from his coop. I think some boys made camp near the old mine entrance. Been thought about going after him with a shotgun. Decided to get help instead. Probably why he's still alive. Why are the marshal? Prison escapes his jurisdiction. Already did. They're sending boys from Sacramento, but they can't get here to the day after tomorrow. Tate and Hogan will be on the move by then. I'll finish this up. You go say your goodbyes. After them. It's my job. The job you promised you'd quit. And I will. That's what you always say. Someday soon, Hank's gonna be the sheriff, and I will just be plain old mad Austin rancher. Got your badge? All right. Listen to your mom. So when I come back, you can tell me all about him, okay? Be a good boy.
this fire is only a couple hours old. It means Tate and Hogan are still on the move. Well, why'd they come back here anyway? Why not make a run for Mexico? You put them up twice in the past six years. I gotta figure you'd be hot on their heels the first you hear their escape. What? They came back for me. Mrs. Where's your husband? He's out with the cattle. He'll be back in a minute. What do you want? Well, I've got a score to settle, so I need to see your husband. I don't think he's out with the cattle. Where is he? See now, I think you're lying. And you know what I do to people who lie to me? I do bad things. I don't like it when people lie to me, so tell me where he is. I'm not lying. Just whatever just take whatever you want just don't hurt my son tell me where he is hey no, no. Tell me you're going after Tate and Hogan. Sheriff Austin I knew wouldn't get himself killed over revenge. I'm not the sheriff anymore. You don't even know where to look for him. I'll start in Oscar Rosas. Give me a few hours. Oscar Rosas is two days right away. Tate and Hogan got a day's jump on me as it is. Get on back to Parkfield, Hank. Take care of your family. Please, we don't need any trouble. It's too late. We already got trouble. Come on, Samuel. What's holding you up, son? Eddie, he owns half the town. No man in his right mind will go against him. Well, it's a good thing I'm not in my right mind. Oh, Bill, you get down off that wagon right now. You will not take my son Mom, with you. Mom, I want to help. Eddie, you are my brother, and I love you, but this is a fool's errand. Lamar Horn is just looking for a reason to come after us. Don't give him one. And you listen to me when I speak to you. We will go into town another time. Listen to your mama. I didn't start this. Come on, let's go.
have a whiskey? And leave the bottle? Yes, sir. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. There's room at this table, Ms. Dragular. Much obliged. You're gonna speak your piece. I suggest you do it now. Lamar Horn has ears all over Crockett. My guess is he knows you're here already. Well, I know you haven't lived here very long, Mr. Vaughn. But I'm sure you know about the problems that me and my family are having. Everyone knows about it, Eddie. What are you gonna do? I'm looking to hire some people. Somebody's been running off my cattle, destroying my property. I'll pay a dollar a day for your services. Now, that's better than anything you'll make working as a farmhand. Eduardo. Horn. You're not causing any trouble for Mr. Horn, are you, Eddie? There's nothing illegal about protecting your home. But it isn't really your home, is it? My family's lived on that property for over 90 years. This California was part of Mexico. But it ain't Mexico anymore. And I'm sorry to tell you that the Homestead Act doesn't apply this far west. And I've already applied for that land grant. So next month, when the tax assessor gets out of here, I'll be the one that holds the proper paperwork for that property. Yes. But only if you run us off. And me and my sister, we ain't leaving. Do yourself a favor, Eddie. You take the time right now to plan a proper future for you and your family. My offer still stands. You can come and work for me. I can provide for your sister and your nephew. You think you can just take whatever you want? Huh? Well, you can't have my ranch. A dollar a day to anyone who stands with me. I was just leaving, Sheriff. We still got business. I ain't got no business with you. My business is with Horn. See, this town is my business. I don't take kindly to people causing trouble in my town. Well, then it's Horn you need to be talking to, not me. This is my town. Get home, he's gonna need you in one piece. Do you understand? Put your head like this for me. And stay still. I'm going to put some iodine on you. Okay. Idiot who gives his sister a lot of sleepless nights. We can't just give up, Amaya. This is our land, our home. Horn's got no right taking it away from us. He goes behind the town's back, applies for hundreds of land grants, and doesn't even bother telling us about the tax man until it's too late. I'm not saying you're wrong, Eddie. I just don't know what we can do about it. They could have killed you. Hold this there. Yeah, well, next time I'm gonna be wearing a gun. Next time? 
Like you're gearing up for some big showdown? We need help, now! Help? Face it, we only have each other. There's no one else coming. People want to help. They're just afraid of Horn, that's all. And they should be. No one in this town is going to risk their lives or their families for us. We can't ask them to. Hold on, look. It's four weeks before the tax assessor gets here. We only got to hold off until then. But I'm going to find a way to keep us on this land. Please, just this once, listen to me. You need to stay in bed and let your body heal. I can't. I just can't. You took quite a beating last night. Just where do you think you're going? It's business. It's none of your concern. It is very much my concern. Glady, I packed your saddlebag. Thanks a lot, Billy. Thanks. I'm going to hire her some help. Well, then I must be hearing things, because if I'm not mistaken, no man in Crockett wanted the job. Well, that's why I'm going to Asquerosos. Have you lost your mind? You remember what Papa used to tell us about that place? It's nothing but drunkards and outlaws. No one with whom a decent man would associate. Exactly the kind of people who were willing to take on the likes of Lamar Horn. Look, I'll only be gone a couple of days. I'll come back with some help. Eddie, you can't leave us alone. If Mr. Horn finds out that you left the county, he'll come down that hill with guns blazing and we'll be homeless by sundown. If you're gone, who's going to protect us? If I don't get help, there'll be nothing left to protect. Besides, there's no reason he needs to know what I'm up to. If anybody asks, I'm out with the count. Samuel. Yes, sir. You look after him until I get back, right? Yes, sir, Mr. Aguilar. Horse is ready, sir. I'm going to take care of this. Hermanos, estoy buscando unos uh, pistoleros para que vengan a trabajar para mí. No, yo no. Vámonos. Último. Vámonos. Es que quiero mucho por eso, eh. Yo quiero mucho. ¿Qué fue? Quiero usar. Pues que. A ver, ¿qué es lo que me ibas a decir? What you looking for, son? Poker game. Pretty girl. You name it, we got it. I'm looking to hire some guns. I thought the saloon would be a good place to start. Try them too. <laughs> they might fit your bill. Oh, come on, Tay. Don't get between a dog and his bone. He's with me. Thanks, <laughs> man. More whiskey? Yeah, let me have a bottle and uh, give me two more glasses, will you? Good day, Maya. Mr. Horn, what can I do for you? It's a lovely afternoon, isn't it? Surely you haven't come to discuss the weather. Actually, no. I've come to make you my final offer. You and your brother vacate the property, and I'll guarantee each of you proper paying jobs. We'll do no such thing. I expected that from your brother, but to be honest, Amaya, from you, I was hoping a little more common sense. Is it common sense to give up my home without a fight? What are you expecting trying to hold me off for a few more weeks? Well, I should think that would be clear. Once the tax assessor comes and finds you have no claim to the ranch, there's nothing you can do to run us off. I liked your husband very much. He spoke highly of you as well. It's a shame he was taken so young. And you left behind to watch after your child alone. You think about my offer. I think it's good for everyone. Speak in a couple days.
So, what do you think? Well, if I can risk our lives for a dollar a day. All right, how about how about two dollars a day? Two dollars each. Each. Can you afford that? Of course I can. Well, I'd say you guys sell a couple hundred dollars. A toast. To saving my land and taking down an old crook. Are you shoot an innocent man? What the hell's going on? What innocent man? That one there. He wasn't with those roughnecks. Just come in here trying to hire some help. Give me some rags. Stay down. You're bleeding pretty bad. Take your land. You gotta tell her. You gotta tell her. You gotta tell her. I tried to stop him. Mister, I don't even know your name. Eddie. Eddie Aguilar from Crockett. Crockett. <coughs> just, just tell him. Ma? Yes? Do you think we'll get to stay at the ranch? I don't know, Billy. Mm -hmm. Uncle Eddie will fix things. I know he will. Ah! 
Brought Eddie home. Yes, ma'am, I have. I just knew this would happen. I told Eddie to stay out of Asquerosos. You don't mind my asking, ma'am. What was a decent man like that doing in an outlaw town? We have some land troubles. And he figured a couple of hard cases and fix that? I told him it was a fool idea. Can I ask how it happened? I shot him. It was an accident. It should never happen. I was looking for a couple of hard cases, too, not to hire them, but to settle a score. Seems like we found the same two. I'd like to give them a proper burial, if you'd allow me. Billy, go take Mr. Austin to the bunkhouse to get washed up for supper. I think I've been a very patient man, Sheriff. I wouldn't have been half as nice with those Californios. My patience has run out. How soon can you have your men assembled? I can have them ready by tonight. Perfect. Just you and your mom on this land? Where's your dad? My pa died a long time ago, back when I was small. I'm glad he's been taking care of us since. Now that he's gone, I mean, nothing's stopping Horn from chasing us off the land. Who is this Horn everybody keeps talking about? Uncle Eddie? He says he's evil. He lives in the big house on Widow's Hill. Buys up as much as Crockett as he can. What does he figure gives him right to your land? Our family came here 90 years ago and homestead the land. Back then, it was Mexico, so we didn't need no proper deed. Everyone in Crockett is too afraid of Mr. Horn to help. That's why Uncle Eddie, he needed to find somebody that was too mean to be afraid. That's why he needed to find a hired gun. Away from the windows, okay? Yeah, but, Ma! You listen to me and you stay inside! Ayudo, go away from fuera. Thank you. 
ma'am. You know this man? Mr. Barnes. He owns the next farm over. I thought you said you had everything under control. I did, I did. They had a roughneck of their own. What, he hired himself a gun? Who? I don't know, but he had good aim. Better than any of mine. Shot Casey Barnes right out of the saddle. Still have to tell his wife. Have you started raising a team yet? I don't want to give Eddie that much time to recover. Eddie wasn't there last night. At least none of us saw him. Well, he's probably off raising a posse. Look, what I tell you about underestimating your enemy, Sheriff, Go find some men for me, please. Preferably somebody that can shoot. Look, I had enough trouble raising the three. After last night, none of the townsfolk want to join up. Now, you listen to me. You are in this just as much as I am. Now, you're not going to get your land if I don't get my water. Now, there are plenty of other towns out there, Sheriff. Go find me some men now. all for for Mr. Austin. They didn't save that man. He saved us. Horn's men, they rode out like they were scalded. They'll be back as soon as Austin's gone. Where's he going? Don't be stupid. He ain't got no reason to stay. Shoot. He's probably fixing to leave right now. Samuel says you're going to leave. Yeah, what Samuel said. He says you got no reason to stay. What do you say? I say we need your help. A lot of work to be done around this place, and we can't do it all ourselves. And Horn's men, they were afraid of you. They're sure not afraid of us. We can pay you. I don't need no money. Well, does that mean you'll stay? I'll stick around a few days, help you all get back on your feet. Then I have to go. I got a job to do. So, uh, what seems to be the problem? Well, I sent the sheriff out to the Aguilar Ranch to negotiate on my behalf. Well, seemingly, Eddie wasn't there. However, he did find Amaya Spencer alone with her young boy in some hard case that Eddie must have hired. I'll speak with her and I'll find out who that man is. You're a true friend, Preacher. Thank you, sir. All right, Lamar. Is that the Preacher? Good morning, Mrs. Spencer. Billy? Uh, this is Matt Austin. He's helping out with the ranch for a few days. Can't say I've ever seen you around. What can we do for you, Preacher? Well, I heard about your running the other night. I was concerned for your safety, Mrs. Spencer. Mr. Austin isn't like those guys that came around last night. No, I done some, Sheriff. Never rode into anybody's place at midnight. Torches and rag tied around my face like a cow. Sure, I don't know what you mean. You do the Lord's work, preacher? Or do you work for Mr. Horn? Lars a friend of mine. But I assure you, I'm here of my own accord. I don't want you people to have any more trouble. Perhaps we could sit down with Mr. Aguilar and try and work things out. I'm glad he's dead. Very sorry for your loss, Mrs. Spencer. You go back and you tell Mr. Horn, he gets a chance. I want to meet him. shouldn't have spoken to him that way. 
The preacher's a good man. Everyone says so. He's just trying to help. Help like that can get you killed. You don't know that he's gonna go run back to Horn. Ma'am, who do you think sent him here? Supper's just about ready. Still a lot of damage out by the fences. Take a couple of days to fix them. himself a sheriff. Did you happen to catch a name? Matt Austin. Well, Lamar, the boy said Eddie's dead, and Mrs. Spencer didn't deny it. Oh, that poor woman. Losing her husband and her brother in two years. I mean, some allegations about the incident with the sheriff. They, they say the Montero's men rode about in bandanas, killed the ranch hand and that they showed up in the middle of the night. Preacher, now you don't believe that our sheriff would have anything to do with that, do you? Now, I know you trust these people, but it's obvious they're willing to say anything. Austin said he'd like to meet with you. Well, that's a meeting we're gonna have to arrange, isn't it? 